Top 5 Biggest Mansions in America Although there are many large homes around the world, there are some enormous mansions that raise the bar significantly. Beyond their enormous scale, not many of us can even imagine the style and architecture they possess. Grand, elegant, and with a great deal of history, these are the top 5 biggest mansions in America right now. Hello guys, this is the Luxury Channel. Please do well to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this one, and also like and share the video. Number 5. Modern Versailles, 90,000 square feet. David Siegel, the CEO of Westgate Resorts, and his wife Jacqueline own the Modern Versailles Mega Mansion in Orange County, Florida. The mansion, which contains a master suite which is 8,000 square feet in size, as well as over 30 baths, 15 bedrooms, 11 kitchens, and 6 swimming pools, attracted a lot of attention and was highlighted in various documentaries, the most well known being The Queen of Versailles. The 35 car garage, 150 person dining room, ballroom, and family's very own British style pub will make it one of the biggest single family residences in the United States when it is finished. The ballroom of the modern Versailles features a dome with a richly detailed creative masterpiece. Over the course of several years, an artist created the imposing ceiling design, which also includes colorful inlaid glass and costs more than $500,000 for the dome alone. The precast concrete outside walls of this Florida home, which are covered with Pavanazzo marble veneer, add to its regal resemblance to the Palace of Versailles. The Seagulls have raised their family home to the top of a man-made hill on their property, matching the man-made lakes built for Louis XIV. In 2000, the site for Versailles was bought, and it has been under construction for about 22 years. We are dying to find out when we will be able to view the end product of this gigantic mansion after being kept in suspense for so long. Number 4. Arden Estate, 97,188 square feet. The Research Center for Natural Conservation is the current owner of this 450-acre estate in Newburgh, which was once home to Edward Harriman. The land was initially purchased by Harriman for $52,500 in 1886, with plans to develop a weekend residence. At that time, the estate was merely a 7,863-acre piece of property with a few other features. Harriman would continue to purchase neighboring land parcels during the ensuing years, adding an additional 20,000 acres and building over 40 miles of horse trails. The enormous home's three stories of main house were built completely of stone and granite from American sources. Construction on the house would take just over four years, and only months before Harriman's death in 1909, he and his wife moved in. The main house, along with five outbuildings that were all included in the original design, makes up nearly 100,000 square feet that make up the home today. Arden Estate was sold by Columbia University to the Open Space Institute in 2007. Up until 2010, when the property was once again put on the market, the institute used the sizable grounds as public open space. In 2011, it was eventually sold to the Research Center on Natural Conservation. The facility is being used by the organization as a conference center, as envisioned by Columbia University and the Harriman family. Arden Estate is one of the biggest conference venues in the country right now, with 97 bedrooms in addition to several halls and meeting spaces. Number 3. The One 105,000 square feet. The One is a super luxury real estate development in Bel Air, which is regarded as Nile Niami's life work. Niami had originally wanted to sell it for a staggering $500 million, which would have made it one of the priciest mansions in the entire world. Although the price is quite outrageous, there's no doubt the house stands out among other jaw-dropping estates in Los Angeles thanks to its wide range of amenities. The One, for one, is in a prime site, sitting high above the bustling metropolis below and offering 360-degree views of the area. From this vantage point, you can see Los Angeles downtown, the Pacific Ocean, and the San Gabriel Mountains all at once. The 21-bedroom property also accommodates practically any interest or pastime. On the underground level, there is a 30-vehicle garage for car enthusiasts, equipped with two turntables for displaying your most enviable cars. If you prefer to work out, 
the third level contains a separate gym, lap pool, four-lane bowling alley, and juice bar. A movie theater, a wine cellar with 10,000 bottles, and a cigar lounge are also located on this floor for those who prefer to relax that way. At 5,000 square feet, the main bedroom is bigger than most apartments in New York City and comes with an office, a huge his and her wardrobe, and a sitting area of its own. There is also a 4,500 square foot guest house on the property for visitors who would rather stay in a different building entirely. The exterior spaces feature the well-known indoor-outdoor living style of California, with an infinity pool wrapping around three sides of the house. The blindingly white contemporary home, which was created by Irish architect Paul McLean and decorated by Catherine Rotondi, was also built with a private nightclub. However, this space is currently being converted into something different due to loud resistances from other Bel Air neighbors. Although the home, which was originally intended to be the most expensive in the country, did not even break records for the state of California, it did shatter records for the most expensive home ever to be sold at auction by 50%, according to Concierge Auctions, which handled the auction. The home was sold for $141 million. Number 2. Ohika Castle, 109,000 square feet. One of the most well-known luxury hotels on Long Island, New York, USA is Ohika Castle, which was constructed by the entrepreneur Otto Herman Kahn. When it was a private residence, it had 127 rooms, a large library with a hidden door beneath one of the bookcases, and 39 functional fireplaces. The castle was so big that a staff of 126 full-time employees were required to keep it in top condition. Additionally, it served as the location for extravagant parties. The Great Gatsby, which depicts rich celebrities at a luxurious estate, is said to have been inspired by the famed glamorous parties held at the castle. Unfortunately, it became less glamorous in later years. After the death of its first owner, Ohika Castle was used as a retirement home a military institution, and was finally later abandoned. A local developer eventually purchased the ancient property and spent millions of dollars restoring it to its former magnificent state. The mansion is now a historic hotel with 32 guest rooms and suites on the upper floors. It is also a well-liked wedding location for socialites, celebrities, and dignitaries, and serves as the setting for numerous photo shoots and Hollywood productions. The estate also features historical home tours of the property and grounds and has been used as a filming setting for a number of movies and television shows, including the popular HBO series, Succession. Number 1. Biltmore Estate, 175,000 square feet. The Biltmore Estate is not just the biggest mansion in the US, it also completely dominates the competition. The enormous Gilded Age Estate, which is still owned by Vanderbilt family members, spans 175,000 square feet. A masterpiece of architecture, this French Renaissance castle is located in the heart of Ashenville and the Blue Ridge Mountains. There are 250 rooms in total in this house, including 65 fireplaces, 35 bedrooms, and 43 bathrooms. In addition to the house, the estate has lovely gardens, woodland walks, and one of the largest collections of azaleas in the nation. The enormous home, which was modeled after the Chateau de Blois in the Loire Valley of France, took six years to construct and involved more than 1,000 construction workers and 60 stonemasons. The building crew had to erect a sawmill, a woodworking shop, and on-site kiln for producing bricks. Over the course of the six-year building phase, the brick kiln generated more than 32,000 bricks every day. Three miles of railroad tracks had to be added to the estate in order to transport additional supplies there. While architect Hunt was building Biltmore House, Vanderbilt traveled with him, bringing his varied and sophisticated tastes with him. The two men brought artwork, ceramics, bronzes, rugs, and furniture while on their travels throughout Europe and the Orient. All of it would eventually be included into the assortment of items that are still on display at Biltmore House today. Visitors both then and now find the collection, which reflects Vanderbilt's own interests and tastes, 
to be most fascinating. According to Buncombe County Tax Appraisers in 2017, the 135,000 square foot Biltmore House is valued at about $37 million. With 2,194 acres, the house, hotels, restaurants, and other buildings, the portion of the estate that is accessible to the general public is worth more than $300 million. The historic home is currently accessible to the general public 24-7, so you can go visit it anytime. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, kindly click the thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends. Bye for now!